Hey everyone, Serene here. Welcome back to In Stars and Time. So in the last episode, we were learning about the power of friendship and how it can't save us from these time loops. So we're on episode 15. Give it up for day 15. And uh, I'm going through the castle one last time to find a book or something that will tell us uh, more about where the king is from. So, let's continue. Uh, I'll skip to a point where I find something. There's a bookshelf here full of diaries, and this mentioned an island near the country that this person can't remember the name of. I tried to say it yesterday, and I got, like, the weirdest headache for hours. I tricked my friends into saying it tomorrow. The rest is just doodles of a little girl laughing uproariously. Ah, the island north of Valgard. I remember when it happened. Well, remember isn't the right word, is it? We all just know something happened. An entire stretch of land disappearing from people's minds doesn't happen often, does it? I think, I think my village was really close to it. My sister said it was all everyone could talk about for weeks. They all just collectively forgot about it? That's so frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh. Yeah. Still. That country's name. What was its name again? Oh, I, I think it was something like... Don't! Say it! Crab! What? D does he know it? <laughs> huh. What an interesting diary entry. The name of this country. You try to remember. 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 Only silence answers you. Is this what the king wanted you to remember? Just remember it. Say it. Make it real. You can't say it. You don't even want to try, but... You turn to Isabel. But can you try and say it anyway? Uh, but why? It's just gonna give me a headache. Isabel looks at you. Something about your expression makes him reconsider. I wonder if that's where Sifrin and the king is from. This country that just disappeared? Well, sure, Sif. I'll say it. That country's name was... Was... You know, I had it before. But now that I'm actively trying to remember it, nothing comes to mind? Ah, uh, is that so? <laughs> You're dumb, Zah, I know it. It's... Uh... What? But... Wait. Huh? What? Can't remember it either, yeah? When you asked me, answering you felt automatic. Like, if you asked me what one plus one makes. But trying to remember it now is more like... Like calculating 72 times 89. I don't know what that is. Nah, that's 6,408. I have a brain and I know how to use it. What? Isabeau? Nah, it felt more like... Asking me to remember my first steps. How can I remember that? I can't remember that. How can you expect me to remember that? What a terrible analogy. But I can't seem to remember it either. When we were talking about it, I could think it clearly. But trying to remember it now, let alone say it. I can't rem remember the country itself either. I just remember it was an island north of Valgard. And... And it had a different belief than the changed belief, didn't it? Something about the sky? You know. The universe. That's right! The universe! Oh yeah. I like stars and stuff. We also know that people could remember that country clearly before. And... Ah, my head is killing me. And we know that trying to remember stuff makes our brains hurt. Let's stop here. It'd be bad to fight the king with a raging migraine. 
Yeah. Sorry we couldn't say it, Sif. You don't respond. Stars. So the king is from that country as well. The country no one can remember. Your country. The country you were born in, raised in, spent your entire childhood in. And yet, even now thinking about it, what it may have looked like. You can't even imagine it. For a long time now, you haven't been able to remember anything about it. You forget it even exists half the time. Anything linked to that country has just stopped existing for you. Your childhood, your parents, your life, your language, your culture, your faith, the stars, the constellations, the universe. It's all gone, forgotten. The king. He was from there. You're sure of it. And then something happened, and the country disappeared without a trace, unable to be remembered by anyone. No one can remember what made everyone forget about its very existence. But something must have, right? But if it happened, if he's so attached to it, he asks you if you remember it every single time you see him. If he's so attached to that country, why would he be obsessed, so obsessed with Valgar then? Why would he decide to freeze it all in time? You can't figure it out quite yet, but there must be something somewhere. Something that's similar to his goal. What? Okay. We, we are the literal... We're like three steps away from this bookcase. Last, last loop. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going through the castle and... Uh, continue searching for whatever I can find. Possibly call loop. Actually, let me see what they have to say. No, you... You need to talk to them in person. No, I don't! I do not! Okay, well, we'll just keep going. Alright, so something weird is happening in the room with the big mirror where we took the picture. I think everything else was the same, though. After the country was forgotten, the king was welcomed by Valgard, wasn't he? Welcomed and helped and loved. To the point where he sees Valgard as perfect. But no one knows why the country was forgotten. What's keeping Valgard from being forgotten the exact same way? Wasn't it, it his duty, as thanks for welcoming him, to make sure a fate would never befall Valgard? What else could he do? But make sure this perfect country was preserved in Amber forever. How could he ever let go? You understand the king more than you'd like to. But... But still, he's... I want to talk to him again. Okay. I'm guessing that's because we found the book in the library. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, here we are again at the king. Maybe for the last time? We do have some questions to ask. Okay, we can ask him where you're from. This is now, uh... This is now highlighted again. This feels important. But you'd still like to talk to the head housemaiden during this loop. While you're still so close to your family members. Are you sure you want to ask the king about this now? Uh, yeah, we already had talked to her. You open your mouth. Will he say it if you ask? Can he say it? Someone asked you this exact question before and you couldn't answer. You couldn't say anything. You forgot it all. But... But... Where... Where I'm from? 
with such a look in your eye. Do you remember then? Can you see it? Can you picture it? Right one. Right one, please, you can't. You have to remember. I know you can, we both can. We're the only ones present here who can. What? Sifrin, what is he talking about? Sif? Sif, are you okay? Right one. Oh. You're trying, I can tell. But the knowledge keeps escaping you, doesn't it? Slipping through your fingers. It is the same for me. But we have to try to remember, Bright One. I see flashes of it, of what was. The mountains. The sea. The lightless sand, dark like the night sky. Our country, Bright One. Our country. Our home. We have to say it. We cannot let Oblivion win. Our home. We can rebuild it together. Your power and mine. We just have to wish for it. We just have to ask. We just have to say its name. What? What? Ah! Uh. Sif? Oh, no, no. What? You heard it, he said it, he tried to say it. Your country's name, your home, your... Oh, no, it's gone. It's gone. Did he say it, all of it? Did he say it? You couldn't hear it. Can't remember it. Can't... What's happening? The king is attacking Sifrin. Everyone protect him. Stop talking, king. Leave Frin alone. Sif. Your head, it feels like it's splitting in two. So did he say it? Your country, your home. You can't remember it. It's gone. It's gone, it's gone. Gone from your past. Gone from your mind. Gone from the very planet you stand on, and it was yours. It was yours. It was yours, and it's gone, and you can't even say its name. But if he... If the king could, then maybe... Maybe... Say it? You have to say it. If he couldn't do it, maybe you can. Maybe you both can. My bright one, please. Please. You inhale, try to grasp it, grasp its name. What? Ah! No! Your throat. Your head. It hurts. It hurts. You spit blood. You hack up. You have to get it out. Right one eye. I almost heard it. I... Please, again. Once again, we have to try. He's gonna die. Your entire body hurts. Oh, God. Your head is killing you. But you have to try. You, you have to. We have to stop the king. Sifrin, whatever he's telling you to say, stop. Friend. Sifrin. But you have to. But you have to. What do they know anyway? What do they understand anyway? The pain of not remembering your own blinding country. Your own home. The king is right. You have to get it back. You have to get it back. You inhale. Someone... is screaming. You realize, it's your own voice. Your throat feels raw, your head feels like it's splitting in two. Your stomach feels like a black hole. The scent of sugar is all around you, so thick you almost gag on it. You can't hold on to anything anymore. What? 
Ah. Ah. You cough, cough, cough. You cough until you can't move or even breathe anymore. Your throat hurts. You couldn't say it. You couldn't say it. What was the point anyway? What was the point of saying its name? What was the king thinking? It's gone. Your home is gone and has been for a long time. There's nothing you can do to bring it back. Doesn't the king see that? Doesn't he see that you have to let go? You start laughing. Will you ever take your own advice? <laughs> you need to go and talk to the king. One last time. What? Even saying the name of the country kills us? We're trying to anyway? I want to go talk to Luke. I can't believe this. Oh, uh... Are you calling your party family members now? You know this sounds really awkward, right? Mm -mm. You're awkward. You're cringe. Oh, somehow this one seems to have hit home. You feel a little bad. Uh, anyway. All right. What do I do next? The king is from your country, the one no one can remember. Something happened to this country to make it disappear even in people's minds. And he wants to freeze Valgard in time to make sure that, in a twisted way, it'd never be forgotten. What a blinding idiot. Loop. I have to talk to him one last time. The king is trying to remember our country, trying to keep Valgard from meeting the same fate. He's deluded. You can't bring it back, but... But... But you have to try. Just do whatever you want, Stardust. Have fun. Uh, okay. Is that the only thing I can do? Just... Talk to the king again? I don't know if I have to... do all the hanging out again. I think I might just skip to the... the fighting. <laughs> I think the game would be... A lot more enjoyable if we could just skip to the the different floors from the town eventually, like a like like in the last quarter of the game at least. Something happened. What do you mean? Did you drink a special tonic or something? You seem well so graceful, right? I knew I wasn't imagining it. You're walking in a cool way. Like a dancer or something. You usually feel like a tiny fennec fox, but you feel more like a panther right now. And the way you defeated the last few sadnesses we've seen... That was... Impressive. Whoa. It's, uh, time to get serious, you know? It's time to get serious. <laughs> I will show the king my true power. I will show them all. And then, no one will ever make fun of me again for being barely taller than a preteen. I'm the same height as you, Mira. Oh. 
Mirabelle looks at your heeled shoes. <laughs> then at her flat boots. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Youch. Yeah, Belle. Hit him where it hurts. Youch. Are you really moving differently, though? Faster, more silently? Come to think of it. Your family members do feel slower to you now. Clumsier. How long have you been in there compared to them? I'm like level 65 or something now. Okay, time to kill myself. Finally. It's gotten so immersive to the point where I'm annoyed of the loops too. Let's stop fighting. <laughs> okay. Sifrin? Uh, what are you? You don't need to fight anymore, do you? You understand what the king wants. How he feels. If only you could make him understand. But we don't have to fight. We're looking for the same thing. I know. I understand why you're doing this. But this isn't the way to do it. We can protect this country another way. You don't need to freeze it forever. Do you really want it all to end? Let's just stop fighting. Leave this country be. We don't need to keep holding on to it. Let's just let it go. We have to let it go, King. He's not gonna. I... What? Perhaps you're right, Bright One. Huh? What? Let us stop this battle. Let us talk to one another. As people from the same country. The, that's it. <laughs> the king has stopped fighting you. You lower your dagger. Sifrin! Is... Is this it? You're gonna stop just like that? Boniface. You destroyed my home. Froze my sister. Froze all of Valgard in time. And you'll just stop just like that? Oh. I will. I have fought for long enough. And... And I'm starting to realize that... Even if I did win... My victory would be short-lived. Because you'd be frozen in time yourself, maybe? Stupid. Perhaps. But... If someone from my own country is the one asking, then shouldn't I listen? Oh, after all, only a fellow compatriot would understand my pain. You said you and Sifrin are from the same country? We... we don't know where Fryn is from, so... What happened? The king cries out. Oh... <laughs> But that's the problem, isn't it? That's what we'd like to know as well, isn't it? If I mention it, you might be able to remember it for a brief second. The fate of the island north of Valgard. An island north of Valgard? Is it perhaps the one we can't say the name of? The one no one can remember anything about? The very one. That's where you're both from? So then, what happened? The king sobs. I suppose your story might be similar to mine, Bright One. One day, I just woke up on a beach on the coast north of Valgard. I woke up slowly, as people sometimes do, expecting to remember where I was, what I was supposed to be doing that day. But... Nothing came to mind. And as I realized nothing came to mind, I also realized... 
I could not remember a single thing. What I was doing here on this beach, what chores I had to do on that day, how I got here, why I didn't recognize my surroundings, my past, my family, my name, the language I spoke, the alphabet I wrote with, the stars, the country's inhabitants, culture, beliefs, its very name. I could not remember anything, because all of my memories, everything even slightly connected to the country I came from, just cannot be accessed easily anymore. And it makes sense, doesn't it? No one on this planet can remember our home as it was. Most people from outside it, who had limited ties to it, only forgot the country's existence. Maybe forgot a friend from there, or a distant family member. But for someone who had ties to it, who was born there, lived in it, breathed it night and day, there would be nothing to remember. There would just be emptiness. I was cut off from my very existence, my entire past, my entire identity, erased. Memories make up the core of who we are, don't they? They're proof that we existed, that we are real. Can you be certain of anything if you do not remember how you learned it? And if you do not remember your past, if you only know it has been erased from your memory because something happened to your home, and if something happened, but no one remembers what or why, then... Then what's stopping it from happening again? What if we forget it all? What if we lose it all once more? The king sobs. Uh, skip that. At any cost necessary. And if the universe led you on this path, then it must be what the universe wants. The universe leads. We can only follow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even if you don't agree with my methods, Bright One, I can tell you understand. No matter what, I could not let this happen again. I could not. Not to Valgard. Not to Valgardians who housed me, cared for me, loved me. I do not want to forget it all. Not again. I will keep the things I love close to me. I will make sure they can keep existing. So that they can be remembered forever. That was what I thought. This whole time. This whole time. But, ah, uh, I can see that I was mistaken. You're right, Bright One. We can find another way to protect the people we love. So, please, while I still can, let me change my mind. Let me help you. Change. Mirabelle. Madam, if he truly means it. Shouldn't we try? Or are we deciding he cannot change? I can't believe that. I want to believe that even the worst person can change. Mm hmm. Oh, Dial. Please. We have to try. I'm with Mira and Sif. Fine. Okay. I'll follow you, friend, but... I don't know. I... I'll trust you all. I can't... I can't do anything anyway. You breathe out. If you can end this loop without fighting... If you and the king can come to an understanding... Oh... Then... Right one, Sifrin, won't you stand next to me? Huh? I can bring everyone back. Make sure they'll all move again. 
We can save this country. Together. Save it from what? <laughs> you? But... I cannot break the curse on my own. Creating the curse was easy, but unraveling it asks for more power than I possess. But with the help of someone else, someone who truly wishes for the curse to be lifted. Is that how it works? It does, if someone wants it enough. Zifrin, should I do it? I don't trust this guy. If all that's needed for the curse to break is your help, you're the one who made the king change his mind. The least you can do is help. You start to walk over to the king. <laughs> oh, bright one. Not that bright after all. What? Ah! Ah! No, 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 why? The king froze your bodies in time. You can think and move your head still, so it's not over, but... You can't move. No! No! King, you... I... I can't move. Why can't I move? Right one, Sifrin. Is this really all I needed to do to make you trust me? I just needed to listen to your empty words, to tell you how sad I am, to make you think I was pathetic, to be pitied. You should have told me sooner. Killing you like this is easier than fighting. Huh? What? No. Everyone! What was it you wanted me to do? Let go of my goal? Let go of my wish? Let go of the wish that kept me going all those years? I will never let it go! Valgard! Our country! I will make sure they are kept perfect forever! Because... <laughs> oh... I can tell, Sifrin. This isn't how it should be. I saw it all, you know. I saw the signs. The way you came in to face me. Like you knew exactly what you were about to fight. The way your companions all flinched, hearing my voice, but not you. The way you knew about my home. The way you can keep it at the forefront of your mind. Like you practice as I have. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I can tell. I can tell, Sifrin. I should have won. I should have won long ago. But something went wrong, didn't it? Victory keeps escaping my grasp. Sifrin. It's you, isn't it? The one who's keeping me from winning? How many times have you kept me from victory, Sifrin? Like, 52. <laughs> you can't breathe. What is he talking about? What? <laughs> I can tell. I can feel it. This scent. This overpowering sweet scent. I can taste the power of wishcraft on you. That is a different font. So that means it's something special. Huh? Wishcraft? I can tell, Sifrin. It's you. You're the one keeping me from total victory. You're the one keeping me from my perfect ending. If only... If only you weren't here. Quick death would be too easy for you. You just come back anyway, won't you? So? I just need to make sure that today... 
You learn your lesson. Ah! Bonnie? Oh, jeez. The king grabbed onto Bonnie. Bonnie! No! Curse you, king. Let them go. <laughs> Bright one. Sifrin. Look at me. You need to learn to not cross me again. I will kill this child. And your housemaiden. And your fighter. And your researcher. I will kill them all. One after the other. I will kill them all now. And make sure you remember. I will force you to watch. So you will learn. Bren! Uh. The king is tightening his grip. Bonnie. No. Please, no. Come on, stupid body, move. Boniface. No, 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 Bon Bon. None of you can move. Your whole body hurts. You can't move, but you have to do something. Save Bonnie. You need to find a way to loop back somehow. You need to die a tear, anything. Just loop back. Help me. I'm scared. Just let them go, please. Not Bonnie, please. Your stomach feels like it's caving in on itself. Curse you, king. Curse you and your whole country. Curse you and everything you stand for. You taste sugar on your tongue. Bonnie. <laughs> you have to loop back. Loop back, loop back, loop back. Bryn. When you come back, bright one, remember this. Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! Stars, no, no, no. You clutch on your chest and you try to catch your breath and forget. It's fine. You looped back. It's fine. It's fine. Bonnie is fine. Looping resets everything. Everything that just happened has been erased. Everything's back to normal. Bonnie's back to normal. Just go and see them. They're fine. They're... fine. Are... aren't they? No, you're okay. Bonnie's okay. Everyone is okay. They have to be okay. Just breathe. Bonnie is... okay. You're okay. <laughs> See, because of the way loops work, they won't remember anything. They're not heard. Everything is back to normal. There's no reason the loops would work differently this time. What's going on? You have to make sure Bonnie's okay. Change, you look... you look really, really tired. I thought you were taking a nap. Did... did you not sleep well? Not really, <laughs> Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. I was gonna tell you something, but forget about it. Go on and do whatever you need to today. Sure. Do you know if Bonnie's okay? Bonnie? Why wouldn't they be? I saw them near the fields earlier to the east, if you'd like to talk to them. You nod. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Make sure to rest up, and we'll meet up for dinner at the clock tower later. You nod again. Alright. Why 
why wouldn't Bonnie be okay? The fuck? Bonnie is here, alive and whole. Bon Bon! Uh, huh? What did you? Bonnie. How are you? I'm... Okay? Good. And... How... Are you? You look bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong at all. Okay, well... Um... What do you want? Nothing. You have to go and see Loop. Jeez. Knew we couldn't trust him. I knew that was bad. It's so traumatizing. Hey, Isabel. Get out of here. <laughs> hmm. Hey, stop. Just say I told you so and we can move on. I told you so! <laughs> what a stupid idea you had. Thinking the king could be turned good. He's the king! He's probably the reason you're here, or related to it at least. And all you had to do was find out he shares your tragic backstory for you to feel pity for him. He didn't even have to lift a finger. And because of you, I don't remember, I don't remember Loop ever telling us that. Right? Telling us not to? Bonnie was... Anyway, I told you so. But, what he said back then. He mentioned something... Something about wishcraft. He did. What's wishcraft? I... I don't know. Wishcraft. Crafting wishes? That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it. That's what it felt like to me. You know, every time we loop back, there's like a... Like a burnt sugar kind of smell, like caramel. Maybe that's what witchcraft smells like. I've never heard of witchcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it. But... That is new information. So, as stupid as the whole making friends with the king was... You did find something new. Was it worth it? Let me work it. Every time you close your eyes, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering... The way you looped last time, wasn't it? Whatever, it's not like your kid will remember whatever happened anyway. Just put it behind you. I have a bad feeling about this. And this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Oh, you didn't even notice. You'll always remember this after all. Let me do the usual. Memory of memories. Allows you to read books you couldn't before. The ones written in a language that just gives you a headache. The ones from your country. Oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again. Like you do everything else. And if you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though... I'm... <laughs> It's always the books, I guess. He 
you found out about more about your friends and the king. The king mentioned something. Wishcraft. You can read those books in your language now. Maybe you should explore the house again. I'm also pretty sure there's a room you could access now that you couldn't before. What? A room I couldn't access... I'm starting to remember, like, the... Ah, uh, what was it? Okay, now I'm getting a headache. It was, like, the... The rooms with the... The, the open phrases on them. I'm pretty sure the... Like, the... The signs were in a language we couldn't read. Anyway, let's go start in the library. Anything about wishcraft? Wishcraft. That sounds made up. Are you sure that sort of craft exists? Jeez. Okay, this was the regular books. There's one here. A really old book. There's an old book stuck between the shelf and the wall. You tried to read the title again, but to no avail. Oh, well. Let me equip that memory, then. What? Hey. What? Are you serious? Okay. Well, I guess we can go through the castle again, just skip through... Uh, whatever. I don't think I need to do anything else. Let's just get... let's just find those books. in the secret library? Color theory, what it means for us in our past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the old books. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. Actually, you can't. There's a lot of hard words in there. What? You don't know what this is even about. Maybe you should go back to it later. Hmm. Alright, so this is the room I was talking about with the big open phrase door. There's something written above the lock too. You can read it now. It's asking a question. You answer it aloud. The door unlocks. Huh? What did you say, Sif? I couldn't hear it either. Did you say something? You open the door. Ooh, what is this? It's... What is this? It has lots of balls attached to it. And there's a lever here. If we turn it, it seems the balls will move around in this big middle ball. It's like a solar system. Does it represent something? It looks familiar somehow. Yes, I feel like I've seen something like this before. It's called an orrery. An orrery? It's a machine to calculate the positions of astronomical objects. Astro what? Like stars and planets and stuff. Who would need to calculate this? <laughs> For once, Sifrin hasn't forgotten something, but we all have. Hmm. What is this book? A journal with a star on its cover. That's promising. It looks very old. Feels like it'd break apart in one touch. I want to 
read it so bad. Please, let's stop wasting time in reading every book we come across. No, we need to. But... If the book has a star on it, it must be important, right? You get closer to the book. Ah, fine. Let's do it. Be careful handling it, though. Mirabelle carefully takes the book in her hands and flips through the pages. Hmm. It's a little long. Seems like it's a diary of a very sad person. Is that the king? Why sad? What happened to them? They don't actually say. It just feels like they lived through some hard times and everyone else around them seems to brush their worries aside. Everyone is acting as if everything's fine when this person continues to suffer. Bummer. We're like boring. Read a passage. Um, sure. Well, no one can understand what I've been through. Not my friends, not my family, no one. If no one can understand me, if I'm doomed to never be truly seen by another, if I'm the only one who can understand what I've gone through, then couldn't I just create another self? Another me? Someone I could talk to, who could understand. Huh? Oh, interesting. Now we're getting somewhere. Talking to another self to come to terms with what they've gone through. But in the end, they'd still be alone, right? Sometimes you just need a voice that answers back, Bonbon. Bon. Hmm. It would just be an echo chamber, though. You'd never get to any good conclusion talking to yourself endlessly. I suppose they felt so alone. They saw no other recourse, though. But tell me, Mirabelle. Do they get a rude wake-up call as they realize creating another self is absolutely impossible? Yeah. Using craft to change a body is already hard enough. Creating a whole new one, and identical to another, and one able to talk back? That's just impossible. Um, they spent a good chunk here trying to figure out how to do it. It's a lot of complicated theory. Their writing seems to be getting more frantic, too. It's barely legible in places. Uh, of course. Realizing this can't be done. That's kind of sad. Oh? This page. It only has a few words, but... I figured it out. How to create another me. Bodycraft didn't work. Crafting clay didn't work. Nor wood, nor marble. Nothing worked. But one thing could. Wishcraft. Wishcraft will make my wish come true. I just have to do it. I just have to ask. Wishcraft. The king mentioned witchcraft before, didn't he? He seemed to imply it was used to trap you in this time loop, didn't he? So it is real. It's real. It's real. You hide your smile by covering your mouth. Zephyrin. And then? And then? Oh, and then... Mirabelle turns the page. Oh! My wish came true. I will always be understood now. Huh. Happy for them, I suppose. So they did it? They created another them? With wishcraft? What's wishcraft? Surely a type of craft they invented for this tale. As we've said, it's impossible to create a copy of yourself. Interesting premise, though. And making this fictional tale look like an old diary was interesting. Too bad wishcraft isn't real, though. I'd wish for stuff, too. But it is real. It has to be. It has to be. You have to tell Loop about this. Let's do that. Please tell me it'll work this time. Um, have you found anything new? I wasn't watching. You have to go and talk to Loop in person? No! That is so lame. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not looping back yet. 
Maybe there's more books in here? I know there's another book in the... the observatory. Did we get his crest? Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's... let's get a star thingy. And then... And then let's check out the observatory. Ah. There's a book in Cub 1, open on the table. Uh... Other suit time. Okay, this book seems to go into detail about what could have caused colors to disappear. Something big must have happened, right? For everyone to not be able to see them anymore? And it was a very long time ago, so there's probably no records of why. There seem to be a lot of theories. A craft experiment gone horribly wrong. A side effect of a craft war. Whatever happened then, all colors disappeared from this world. But it seems impossible, right? It'd be like... Like if everyone stopped seeing shades all of a sudden. I do wonder what could have made that happen, yes. Weird. You're still wondering about that weird shade you saw while talking to the king. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. I didn't even uh, realize it was red versus the black and white. Was that weird shade a color? Is there a way to see colors now? Funny you should mention it. People have been known to see a weird shade during, um, times of immense trouble. They describe the shade as scary, dangerous, visceral, maybe? Historians think this weird shade could have been a color. A visceral shade? Times of immense trouble? What does that mean? Sorry, it's a little tough to translate. Moments before something breaks, maybe. When something breaks? Like during the end of something? Or something that gets or something gets destroyed? Uh, like the end of the world? Maybe so. If colors were an integral part of the world, then the world writes itself right before the end. How poetic. Someone should write a novel about this. Colors appear when something breaks, huh? When the king tried so hard to say your country's name. Did something break then? Hmm. Just looking at them gives you a headache. Can't read those? For real? Any other books? Not able to read. Come on. Star chart. Okay, well, let's see. We can go back to Loop and then see if we can read that other book in the second floor library. So, time to die. I start. Loop! Whoa! Y yes? You heard it, didn't you? Heard what? You know, I don't actually spy on you all the time. I found it, Loop. Wishcraft! Wishcraft? The thing the king spoke of? I found it in a book, Loop. The writer said they wanted to create a whole new body and used wishcraft for it. Wishcraft made their wish come true. Create a whole new body? That's impossible, right? But they did it with wishcraft. It's real, Loop. It has to be. A craft that allows you to do the impossible. Like creating a body. Like looping in time. Like maybe freezing people in time as well? Huh. That's right. If the king knows about wishcraft, could wishcraft be how he got the power to craft time? Did he use wishcraft to be able to use timecraft? It makes sense, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> That's a very... It's a very simple loophole. Huh. <laughs> Stars, that's something, isn't it? 
That's a new lead. Finally, right? Finally, indeed. Well, you know what to do, don't you, Stardust? Find more information? Indeed you do. Not to send you on another book chase, but... Ah, book time. Yeah, we can read the books. Maybe one of them might mention it. Hmm. All right. Now that you're here, though... Okay. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like how it's... The music is slowed down. What's the reason for that? Okay, let's see if there's, uh... Let's see if there's a book in the library. Actually. There's a, this book. There's an old book stuck between the shelf and the wall. You can read its title now. Your heart is beating. It's... A translated copy of The Cursing of Chateau Castle, issue number two. You start laughing. Okay, well, it's not here, I guess. Oh yeah, I figured out a faster way to finally get to the castle. It was this banana peel that's been sitting here. Seriously. Okay, now we can get back to the second floor library. Oh, okay. There is a book here. This is on the first floor. It's in like the little like locked room with the open phrase. One of them is written in your language. You can read it now. It seems to be a theoretical essay about how to use wishcraft. Wishcraft? So it is real. You start flipping through it. Sifrin? What are you looking at? It's a book on something called Wishcraft. Wishcraft? What's that? Do we really have time for this right now? You grin. I think Wishcraft is what gave the king power over Timecraft. Oh crab! This would be... very, very useful to know, wouldn't it? Interesting. May I see? How are you even reading this? Letter's bad. I can't read it at all. I've never even heard of Wishcraft. Are you sure it's even real? Worth a try. Since you can read it, can you translate what you can, Sif? You nod furiously. <laughs> He's so happy. You start reading and translate as best you can. I'll leave the thinking to you all. I'm a child. I have a lot on my mind. I cannot help. Understandable. Isabeau and Odile listen intently, while Mirabelle and Bonnie start playing some kind of game in the corner. You keep translating. After a bit, Odile nods. Hmm. I think I understand. Wishcraft, as the name implies, is the art of crafting wishes. Of making whatever desire, whatever you desire, come true. According to this, there seems to be no clear limit on what kind of wish you can make come true. A big part of it seems to come tr through just believing very strongly that you wish... Your wish will come true, huh? So by crafting some specific rituals in conjunction with a, ver a powerful will for your wish to come true, people can seemingly make any kind of wish come true. Um, okay. Use the word congestion, so now I'm confused. Conjunction. It means the same way we use craft and certain knowledge and will to make figurines move, there's a way to use craft to make your wishes come true. You nod, you nod. Bonnie raises their hand. You have a question, Bonnie face? Um, so, um, can it make any wish come true if you ask? Yes, but the way the wish comes true seems a little more complicated than that, from what Sifrin translated. Yeah, depending on what you ask, your wish might not come true. But you might get the means to make your wish come true. 
So like, let's say, let's say you wish to win a rock, paper, scissors tournament. Instead of it just having it come true through pure luck, you might get something to help you make it come true. Like, maybe you get better at reacting, and you could see your opponent's hand in slow motion as it falls, so you can change your own hand. Or maybe you get the insight to tell what they'd be playing based on their body language. Or you just get the power to see your f the future so you know what the what hand your opponent will play beforehand. Oh! Or maybe you could meet a powerful rock, paper, scissors master who'd be willing to teach you through the goodness of their heart. Maybe. But what if your opponent also made a wish to win? What do you think would happen? Hmm. Maybe the wishes would cancel each other out, and the match would end in a draw. Or maybe their wishes would be both be considered null, and it's anyone's game. Or maybe those wishes can't work because it's two opposite wishes, so they both explode. And destroy the whole world! Oh no! But neither of the wishes would come true then. So maybe... Maybe they both get to win somehow. Maybe they go to different tournaments. Or share a medal. Cute. <laughs> this is fascinating. Makes you want to go into Wishology, huh? Ha. <laughs> Almost. So, if Wishcraft is how the king got his powers, what did he wish for then? I don't know, but... Maybe his power to freeze people in time might not be what he wished for. But it's the means to make his wish come true. To make Valgard perfect. A perfect picture. Oh! But then... Um, question. I have a question. Yes, Mira? I give you permission to speak. Thank you. Um, Sifrin, you think the king could have gotten timecraft powers just by, by just wishing for them, right? You nod. Considering he's the one who told you about wishcraft in the first place. So then, if wishes can be that powerful, wouldn't anyone making a wish at any time be kind of dangerous? We'd be living in a very different world, wouldn't we? If someone wished to be the strongest person alive, or a kid wished for a million ponies. <laughs> we can do that? Wish for a million ponies? Oh no! To answer your question, my dear Mira, it seems that just wishing for things does hold a little bit of power, but like, not enough to actually make anything come true. But like Sif said, over time, people figured out specific ways to do wishcraft to increase their chances of the wish coming true. And it depends on the wish, too. Some wishes are easier to make come true. It also depends on the strength of the wish, like how much you want it to come true. Although it seems the strength of the wish isn't as important as the whole ritual part. You can wish as hard as you want for something, but if there's no ritual, it's very likely that nothing will happen. Hmm. I wish I won this single game wouldn't ask for much belief, or for a lot of rituals. But in theory, you could prepare rituals and wish for something much larger. Like, I wish I could win this world tournament. Or I wish I could get enough power so I can freeze a whole country in time, right? Right. So the king knew how to do wishcraft then. That's what this means? Wishcraft could account for his mastery over timecraft. And so, he must have known a specific rituals to make his wish come true. Where could he have learned them? Does it matter? Because that's it, isn't it? That's it. Wishcraft is the art of making wishes come true. Wishes that could bestow immense power. A wish must be what's trapping you here. That's it. That's it, that's it. You can't help but smile widely. Finally a hint. Finally a real path you can follow. Something you can do. You try and calm your breathing. Phew. Okay. Specific rituals, huh? It's a long shot, but there might be another book about wishcraft somewhere. Something you couldn't read before. Mm. More books. More books. Something I 
couldn't read before. Okay, now we can finally read the books on the second floor. Oh, jeez. Seriously. Okay, well this is embarrassing. Well, I'll, uh, I'll skip to when we get to the library. Okay, the book. For the third time, this book. You could read it now, but you haven't read the previous Wishcraft book with everyone back on floor one. You might miss some precious insights if they don't understand what you're talking about. What? <sighs> okay, here we are for a fourth time. seems to be a book on different rituals to craft wishes. You flip through it. Oh, another wiggly, headachy book. Is this another book on wishcraft? You nod. You start translating as best you can. The book talks about many different rituals to craft wishes, from the correct way to pick up four-leaf clovers, to calling out to shooting stars the right way, to... Fairy tree, what now? The favor tree can grant wishes? Favor trees like the one in Dormant? Uh, the one everyone asks things to? Aha. It makes sense. It makes sense. You even vaguely remember thinking about it a long time ago. Asking a higher power for a favor is no different than making a wish, isn't it? Isn't it? So, could someone's wish to the favor tree have trapped you here? Whose? What? What did you wish for at the favor tree again? You think and think and think, trying to remember what you even wished for. It was so far back. Such a long time ago. You wished... to be here when Bonnie reunites with their sister. Was that all? You think so? Oh. It can't... It can't be because of your wish, then. You haven't even gotten farther, farther than beating the king, let alone leaving the house to make that wish come true. Your wish can't come true until the, you escape the loops. So then maybe... What did you all wish for? See the favor tree, you mean? Well, I mentioned it earlier, but I... wish... to win a coin flip. A wish that came true now that I think about it. I didn't put any belief in it, but the rituals are supposed to be the important part, aren't they? But you know her wish doesn't come true on every loop. Some loops she wins the coin flip, some loops she doesn't. I... I asked for my sister to be okay. I, I wish for all of Valgar to be safe from the king. Hmm. Isabel? What about you, Isabel? I, um, I didn't wish for anything. What? What? Listen, I just didn't know what to wish for. I'm an indecisive guy. Leave me alone. I can't believe this. Oh, madame, I'm gonna wish to win my next coin flip is gonna judge me now? I didn't think anything would happen. At least I wished for something. That's too bad. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of bummed I didn't wish for anything now. Why didn't I clap my hands and wish for something? Huh? Clap your hands? Uh, yeah? That's how you ask a favor to the favor trees. You look at the tree, and clap your hands once, and say aloud whatever you wish for. Huh. Um... Isabel looks at everyone else. Is that... not correct? No, it's what I did. Me too. 
This is how you taught me, Isabeau. That's also how I learned it at school? Sifrin, did you... not do it like that? N no of course not. You make your wish and breathe it into the leaf you like best. And fold the leaf over to keep your wish safe. What? It just makes sense? They're all looking at you. You've only wished the favor tree that one time, but it just makes sense. You try to explain. You choose a leaf to represent yourself. Uh-huh. You breathe your wish into it to make a link between you and whatever you're wishing to. So, a link between you and the tree? Uh, no, the universe, I think. Oh, what's that? Keep going, Sifrin. You repeat your wish three times. Three times? Uh, six could work, I think. Or seven, or thirteen. So, whatever number? And then you fold the wish into the leaf to tether the link between you and the wish, touching it. They're all staring at you. If you just look at the tree and clap and say stuff aloud, why would the wish know where to go? I suppose so? That kind of makes sense, I suppose. But that's so many details to remember. And that's not how we were taught at all. It's something we learn as Valgardians, and I've never heard anyone do it differently. But then, the favor trees are more of a superstition, aren't they? No one really takes it seriously. Well, except lately, where everyone started taking it super seriously, just in case. So... So... So did everyone in the country mess up their wish? Ha! <laughs> Odell starts laughing. W why are you laughing? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just funny. This could have been a way to save Valgard if so everyone somehow wished for it. But no one knew how to do it correctly, so... <laughs> hmm. And the only person who knew how to do it wished for... What did you wish for, Sifrin? It's embarrassing, so... I wish for croissants to be eradicated. <laughs> what? What? No! Not croissants! And since Sifra knew the ritual, croissants might actually be... Oh no. I sure hope this specific wish doesn't come true. But yeah, no one except Sif knew the right ritual, so... Rituals are... only one part of it, right? Leaf is another. If enough people wish for the same thing, maybe it can make a difference. <laughs> a drop of belief in an ocean of nothing. Boo. Hmm. So... Mirabelle wished for Valgar to be saved. Odal wished to win a coin flip. Bonnie wished for their sister to be okay. And Isabeau didn't wish for anything. You don't think any of those wishes could have trapped you here. So... Maybe someone else's? The king probably wished for Valgar to be perfect or something, so you don't think it's related to you. Is there a way to know what people in Valgar wished for? You should ask the villagers in Dormant what they wished for. Okay, I guess we could loop back. I don't know if there's anything else we can read about. Anyway, uh, on our next episode, we're going to find out more about what the villagers wish for and see if that can help us on our journey. <laughs> I'm... Uh, um, I am pretty determined to finish this game now, uh, just to never see it again. But, uh, with the magic of editing, I hope I'm making the playthrough uh, at least a bit more enjoyable. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far in the video, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please remember to take care of yourself today. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.